Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. I'm talking today about the PowerShell scanner and, and just different scanners you can get from the GitHub. Uh, hopefully you've been, you've been using this and you find a lot of value, uh, but we're just kind of highlighting, we have some built-in scanners for you, or scanners you can get from GitHub, or if you want, and this is ideal, if there's something you've written that you're super proud of, or you think we have a lot of value, put in a pull request and we can add it to that so everyone, everyone can use that, that one. Uh, so the way to get that is you're going to want to go to you can, some version of git. You can use the command installer that we have in deploy for you uh, built in, or you can use git desktop. And basically all you're going to do for this one is you're going to specify a uh, URL on where you're going to pull from. Uh, this is from the readme from the PDQ PowerShell scanners. And it's just cloning github pdq powershell scanners.git. And it's putting it in a folder, uh, a C drive PowerShell scanners, and it just puts them in the same location. Uh, this way, if something gets updated, something gets corrected, you don't have to go through and make the change in the PowerShell yourself. You can just repull from Git, and it's going to update your scanners for you. Uh, and I guess to highlight it, this time we're going to go over Chrome extensions. So go options and scan profiles. And if not build a new one, we're going to go to import because this was built for us. That's what the point of the Git was. Uh, PowerShell scanners, and we're going to look up Google Chrome extensions. Uh, I mean, with all things in PowerShell, read through it, know what you're running. We've read through this one, we know it's, uh, it's solid. Uh, so what this is going to do is going to let us know what extensions are installed on the Chrome on the machine and whether it is a extension by default or something that was added after the fact. It's just kind of a way to let you see what people are putting on their Chrome, uh, whether they meant to or not, uh, it's, which we run into a lot. So now that we, we have that one imported, we're just going to come to a machine. We'll do random selection here. Scan that one for the Chrome extensions. Uh, so if you double click, it's going to open it up and you can see the PowerShell scanners. We're looking for Google Chrome. That takes just a bit to run, but it's going to let us know a better idea of what's on there. And hopefully Ellen Earls has Chrome so we can have, have extensions. Uh, so you see here, we've got the Web Store Docs, Google Drive. There's just some like the Bookmark Manager. I still haven't turned the highlighter on. I should really do that. Uh, that lets you know whether it's there by default. It kind of lets you, it just gives you a peek into what people are putting on Chrome as it's easy and quick to install those on Chrome and they're not always good for your environment. Uh, hopefully you find a lot of value from this one. If there's something that you think that we we could use, please give a uh, pull request to us. We, we want all the information we can get from this. We want to make this the best version of itself. Uh, for pdq.com, I'm Jordan.